Rodney asks, what did the NBA teach you about basketball that you can apply to marketing or branding on social media? So the first thing they do is they sit you down and show you what you can get fined for. <laughs> but surprisingly, a lot of the stuff is I was watching what guys got in trouble for. All that stuff uh, created such buzz and got them a lot of following. So it's kind of like, hey, <laughs> You're like, like, the arbitrage was worth it. Yeah. And and yeah. But anyway, yeah. to me, the, the best advice that they gave us was um, be yourself. Don't make every post about a, pro a product pitch or, you know, you, right away. So you get, um, as soon as you come out of the league, or as soon as you as soon as you finish um, university, then you can accept money for like then you can Sneakers. start mon monetizing, right? So um, right away you're gonna have people, hey, tweet this, pitch my product, whatever, I'll pay you. Sports that cards. Sucks. Yes, it's good and well, but you don't want your um, social media to be flooded with that. Um, you just want to be genuine, be who you are. Um, I think it, it's also good to share. You know, don't just reply to to tweets and whatever after wins. You know, be the same person. Wins and losses don't go into a hole. Um, you know, depending on the situation. So be I careful who you're re genuine, responding to be and authentic. how. Yeah, be, um, always you know respond to real people. I think there are a lot of a lot of people hiding behind different accounts out sure. there, um, stuff like that. Yeah, dunk. So uh, yes. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Tell me, talk to me about talk to me about the biggest thing you learned. Yeah. In your first season, in the NBA, nothing to do with marketing, just yeah. macro learning. You know, this has probably been on your mind, right. you know, as a little kid, then definitely got more serious after your freshman year of high school. Yeah. Here it is, this is it. You're in the league. Yeah. What's the biggest thing you learned in year one? Kevin obviously sat down and yeah. gave you some good advice. You had some good yeah. bets on that yeah. team that you stumbled into. Great bets. But like yeah. what, like macro, like. To me, the, the biggest thing I took away is um, there's so much, like I came from a college where there was stability. Coach K was my coach every year. Um, I have, for the most part, similar teammates every year. The NBA, and you know, I talk to my friends with other jobs. Um, there's so much turnover. There's so much un unpredictability. Like I went into work, I went into practice one morning, and they said, "Hey, GM wants to talk to you. Hey, you're going to Denver. Okay, cool." So <laughs> you're, you you can't control your situation. You can, you know you I'm can do that to D Rock tomorrow. I'm like, you know what? <laughs> You've been traded to the Chattanooga office. <laughs> But it's crazy, yeah. right? Like you no. have to pick up your whole life. Yeah, like there's so. a lot of great things that comes along with professional sports. And I'm yeah. sure the veterans tell you once your family kicks in, right? Right. Your no, daughter no. loves her school in Denver and now you're in Sacramento. Yeah. So I, I think the, the best piece of advice that I got from those guys and I watched it happen on that first team is, you know, no matter what's happening around the game, have the same work habits, have the same approach to practice, to the games, to shoot around, to film session. Have an approach that you believe in, that you can stick to, and it's not going to change regardless of what. And have you done that? Absolutely. Yeah, I have. I mean, I'm only four years in, but I. But I you're on three like teams in four years. Three teams in four years, uh, four different head coaches. So, I I feel like I have found a routine and something that I believe in that I can continue to grow and get better regardless of the. Situation. Was it easier to walk into the Denver locker room after experience being the new guy in the Portland locker room? Yeah, for sure. Was Absolutely. that weird and scary? Um, I mean, everything. everything's, I would say, unpredictable. You don't know what to expect. Yeah. Um, I was telling, well, actually, funny, when I went into the Denver locker room, they started playing a rap song, so now I did a rap song, so everywhere yeah. I go, people make fun of me for it, which is, it's fine. I have, I have fun with it, so, um, you know, that, that lightened the mood, but anyway, That's like, cool. and also the NBA, you know, you know players on every team, so. Right. It, you went to, yeah. you, in high school, and college, things of that nature. Right. Right, cool. Andy Kay?